Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. Welcome to the Cairns. This time we're not just going to be talking about the Cairns, but we're going to look elsewhere as well. It's all voiceover I'm afraid. The audio was unusable due to background noise. Carver Cairn is a type of Bronze Age circular chamber tomb cairn, named after the group of three cairns at Belnuran of Claver, to the east of Inverness in Scotland. There are about 50 cairns of this type in an area around Inverness. They fall into two subtypes, one typically consisting of a corbelled passage grave with a single burial chamber linked to the entrance by a short passage and covered with a cairn of stones. The entrance is oriented southwest towards midwinter sunset and in the other subtype an annular ring cairn encloses an apparently unroofed area with no formal means of access from the outside. In both subtypes a stone circle surrounds the whole tomb and a curb often runs around the cairn. The heights of the standing stones vary in height to that of the tallest fringe, the entrance, oriented southwest, and the shortest are directly opposite. Where clava type tombs have still contained burial remains, only one or two bodies appear to have been buried. And the lack of access to the second subtype suggests that there was no intention of revisiting the dead or communally adding future burials as had been the case with Neolithic cairn tombs. Thank you. 
get airborne and take a look at the Inverness Viaduct which is in the next area to the Cairns, right beside them. The Inverness Viaduct carries the main line from Inverness to the south and obviously back again. We fly around it and along it and then we'll see the Cairns once more. As we fly over the field next to the car park, you can see people moving about and the two stones that are in the field. They are being marked because there's a metal detecting event coming on the next day and it's to keep them away from the stones.
Here are some ground shots of the stones being marked off for the metal detecting event tomorrow. Balnoran of Clava itself, there is a group of three Bronze Age cairns which lie close together in a line running northeast to southwest. The tombs at either end are of the passage grave subtype, the central cairn is of the ring cairn subtype, and uniquely has stone paths or causeways forming rays radiating out from the platform around the curbs to three of the standing stones. The cairns incorporate cop and ring mark stones carved before they were built into the structures. The curb stones are graded in size and selected for colour so that the stones are larger and redder to the southwest and smaller and whiter to the northeast. All these elements seem to have been constructed as one operation and indicate a complex design rather than ad hoc additions. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.